Isaac Edelman here with Coach Potts. Well, my tenure at West Boca has come to an end. Your tenure truly hasn't. I could be up here in the interview being all upset, but to be honest, I mean, my first two years, only one win combined. My last two years, eight plus six. Actually, nine plus six, we won a playoff game. That's 15. Just talk about, you know, your first two years at West Boca. And I know a tough loss to Coconut Creek tonight, but a terrific season. Well, you know, it, it, it's all credit to the kids. It, and like I said, they've, uh, when you talk about where we came from to where we're at now, it's been all credit to the kids for just buying in and working. And that's that's what we've been preaching from from day one is just outwork everyone. And I think the kids are finally starting to see that. Like we've, uh, uh, you know, I, I know we had a good season and we're not happy with the outcome right now. I thought we had a chance to win the game tonight. But I, I couldn't be more happy for the kids, the seniors, everyone, and, and the direction where we're going because I truly believe we got a chance to be one of the best teams in South Florida. And, and that's the direction we're going. And I think West Boca proved that going 8-2 in the regular season. Winning against Atlantic, obviously you guys came up short against Coconut Creek tonight, but I think the, the big thing is this is just the start, right? Like this is not the end. It's the end of the season, but all of these guys are insanely young. Just talk about the future of this West Boca team. That's the same message I just told the kids after the game right there. You know, at the end of the day, this is the beginning. You know, we went the first two years playing with a bunch of freshmen and sophomores right now. All of a sudden now we're going to be the older guys. And I told the kids, you know, this, uh, we got it. We got this window right here to do something special. And we're just going to keep working and get ready for next year and, and, and just keep showing why we're one of the best teams and, and playing the best teams and beating the best teams. So, you know, games like this, unfortunately, sometimes you got to go through this and it's, it's tremendously valuable for the growth in the future. Mm -hmm. until when you play in big games like this and you know that's something I told the kids earlier in the year when we took a tough loss to St. Andrews at the end of the day uh, you know I told them hey this loss is going to be mean for, more for us down the road and I really think it did because you learn how to win you learn more about your things your kids and your team when you're in these tough environments and tough situations like this yeah and I tell you this a lot I said no matter where I go to college I'm going to be coming back next year one last thing for you All right when, when you talk about this West Boca team you know, it's been histor historically not the best football team, but what have you done to this program that's really just changed the path of the winning ways? Because as you said, post game to your guys, it's not acceptable to lose anymore. Well, it's, it's, it's the kids, it's everyone, it's the administration, it's the teachers, it's the community, everyone just buying in. It's never, it's never me, but it's we, and, I, and I'll always stand on that. You know, there's a lot that goes into it. Great administration, Mr. Capitano, the teachers, the school, the community, the parents, the kids. There's so much that goes into it, and, and, and this community of West Boca has really bought into becoming a, a great football team, and, and we're excited in the, in the path we're going on. Awesome. Thank you so much, Coach Potts. Best reporter in the game right here, baby. Love you, Isaac. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.